Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to the Firebase Firestore course again. In the previous video, we have got an introduction about Firebase. We have learned why do we need Firebase? What is it? And so on. So in today's video, we're going to set up our environment. Now in this video series, I'm going to use React, but you don't have to use React or any other framework. You can just use it with vanilla JavaScript. But for this video series, I'm going to use React or more specifically Next.js, which is just a React framework. If you want to follow along with me, then you can use this repo. The link will be on the description. It has a branch called starter. Just clone the repository and you will be good to go. After you have cloned the repository, just cd into that directory and then run the command npm install or yarn install if you are using yarn to install all of the necessary packages. I have already done that so I'm not going to run that command. And our Next.js app is running on port 3000. On the right hand side you can see. So let's see what is inside our package.json file. These packages are for Chakra UI. Chakra UI is a React UI framework. You don't have to use it, but I'm going to use it to make things look good. Then the only necessary package is needed for our video series is the Firebase. Then we have the Framer Motion package, which is required for Chakra UI. Then we have the Next.js package and React packages. And these are some ESL package as dev dependency. So this is our dependencies and dev dependencies. And we have some script. So this is the dev script for running the dev server. To run the dev server, just type npm run dev or yarn dev. So let's see what are inside our project. We have this pages directory. In Next.js, pages directory is special. Whatever JavaScript or TypeScript file that you are going to create in this pages directory will be treated as a route. So we have this index.js file, which is treated as the root route. If I create a file product.js, that will represent slash product route. And the underscore app.js file is a special file. It doesn't represent any route. If I open that up, we have added this chakra provider component, which will allow us to use chakra UI. And then we have this vertical stack component. You don't have to care about this. This is only just chakra UI stuff. But if you want to learn chakra UI, I have made an entire video about that. So you can check that out. The link will be on the description. Chakra UI is a fantastic UI library that will make your work very easy. If I go to index.js file, this is our root route. So you can see we have imported two component products and add form. Add form is the input form that you can see on the right hand side. If I just go to this file add form, we have created an state for storing the input. Then we have a handle submit function and a handle change function for our inputs. We have styled them with Chakra UI components. Every time we will type something on our input that will be stored in our form input state. And we have this uh, button called add product on the right hand side. You can see this is a submit button which will trigger this handle submit function. For now, it is just printing out this form input state. Later, we will use this handle submit function to add products to our Firestore database. Okay, so that's it for this add form file. Let's go to this products file. So in the products file, we have a state products, which is just an empty array for now. And we have this use effect hook, which will run after the component is mounted. Then we have looped over this products array, which is just empty and we have rendered the product card. And if I show you the product card file, it is super simple. It will just show you the heading, the product name, then the price and the total number of product that is available. And then we have this button for delete. This will be used for deleting a product. So that's it for this product card. 
And by the way, this components file are stored inside this components directory. We have this add form file, product card and products. And finally, we have this Firebase directory. In the Firebase directory, we have a config.js file, which is totally empty. Here we will put all of our Firebase config after we will create our Firebase project. But for now it is empty. And we have this data.js file, which has a lot of data about products. Then we have a utils.js file, which is just importing data from the data.js file and it is exporting two function add multiple documents and query documents you don't have to care about this utils file we will use this later in this video series so that's it for our starter code nothing too fancy here we haven't done anything specific to firebase all right so now let's set up our firebase project so just go to firebase.google.com and make sure you are logged in with your Google account. Then just click on get started. And it will take you to the Firebase console. So now we have to create project. So let's create a project. And now you have to give your project name. I'm just going to call it Firestore. course YT so let's continue and it is asking us for Google Analytics but we don't want that for now so let's create the project and now it is creating our project alright so our project is ready so let's continue alright so here is our project console I'm gonna zoom it for you so on the left hand side, you can see we have the services like authentication, Firestore database, real time database, storage, hosting and so on. And now we need to create an app in our project. A project can have multiple apps. An app can be a web app, Android app or an iOS app. But we are only interested about web apps. So click on this third button. This is for the web and we have to give our app a name so I'm just gonna call it YT doesn't really matter here and you can also set up Firebase hosting but I'm not interested for now so let's register app alright so now it is asking us to add the Firebase SDK software development kit if you are using any framework which uses some kind of module bundler like webpack like we are using then you can install the Firebase project with this command npm install Firebase like I've told you before. But if you are not using that, if you are using vanilla HTML and JavaScript, then you can use the script tags. You can add them on the bottom of your HTML file. But I have already installed the package. We just need this starter code. So I'm just going to copy this. And let's go to the config file inside our Firebase directory. And I will paste everything here. So basically this is our Firebase config which has all of the necessary information like API keys and you don't need to store them in environment variables. The way you protect your Firebase app is by using security rules and I have a plan on making a video about Firebase security rules. If you want to watch that please do let me know in the comment section. So with this Firebase config we are calling the initialize app function which is coming from the firebase app and we have passed the firebase config here and this is our app object now like i've told you firebase gives us a lot of services like authentication real-time database but we only care about firestore for this series and we need to set up firestore for that so we need to import another function so import get firestore function and this will come from firebase slash firestore and now let's call the get firestore function and let's pass the app here this get firestore function will return us our db instance so let's store that const db and finally let's just export this db instance 
All right, so that's it for our config file. Let's go to the browser again. So let's continue to console. Now, if you ever need to get this information again from Firebase, so just click on this. And here is our app. Click on this gear icon. So let's scroll down. So here is that code. And if you only want that config object, just click on config. And here is the config object. Okay. So let's go to the project overview again. And let's just go to Firestore database. So now we need to create a database. So let's click on this button. So we have two options. Start in production mode and start in test mode. We will choose start in test mode. So let's click on next. Choose your closest region. I'm going to choose Asia Southeast. Um, uh, where is that? Okay, so here is Asia Southeast. I'm going to choose this one. Um, it has some problem. Cloud functions are not available. So I'm going to choose the Asia Southeast too. Okay, so it does not have any problem. So let's click enable. So now we have this empty database. Now we need to create a collection. So let's click on start collection. Now remember a collection is just a collection of document and we need to give a collection ID. I will call it products. Let's click on next. And now we need to create our first document. Remember document is like a JSON file where we store our key value pair data. And to make a document unique, you need to give a document ID. You can give your own or you can auto generate it by clicking on this auto ID button. So this is our document ID. And now we can specify our field and values. Field is the key that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to add a name field and type will be string. There are many types available string, number, boolean, map, array, null, timestamp, geopoint, and reference. But I want the string and the value will be this. Then I will add another field. I will add price and the type will be number. And here is our value. Then I will add another field. Total. It will also be number. And now let's click save. And here is our products collection and here is the document and inside the document we have this data name price total you can also edit the values here okay so this is how you can create a collection and a document in this console now I'm gonna add a few more document to this collection but you don't have to watch me do this Alright, so I have added few more documents and all of the document has same type of data. So in this video, you have learned how to set up Firebase with React, how to set up a Firebase project, how to create collection and documents. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to get these documents. So if you are enjoying this video series, consider like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.